The Women's Art Collection is a collection of modern and contemporary art by women, which is on display across Murray Edwards College. It's one of two colleges for women at the University of Cambridge. Something I'm interested in with the collection and something that the visitors, when they, when they come here, talk about is that it's a collection that's displayed all across the college. So there's a really interesting sort of interplay between the architecture and the artworks and the extraordinary kind of sight lines that you get. Wherever you are in college, you'll very often be surrounded by the work of women artists. Marie-Louise von Morshitsky was born in 1906 in Austria. In 1938, Morshitsky left Austria with her mother after the um, Hitler's annexation of Austria and fled to Switzerland and Holland before settling in the UK in 1939. So Morshitsky was an incredibly prolific artist. I think there were over 300 paintings and almost a thousand works on paper that she produced over her long career. At the Dressmakers, in the collection at the Fitzwilliam Museum, it was painted in 1930 when the artist was 24. At the Dressmakers is a self-portrait of the artist being attended to by a seamstress. And I think what's really remarkable about this painting is that rather than situating the self-portrait within the space of an artist's studio, she's actually located it within the space of a dressmaker. Her simple white dress can be read as similar to a blank canvas in many ways. And so what Mortoshitsky is doing is she's sort of aligning her work as an artist with the kind of creative practice of a dressmaker. Mortoshitsky is announcing that her lineage is one that's not drawn from the old masters, but rather is much more aligned with the kind of craftsmanship that's associated with female lineage. Mirrors are always really interesting objects to be part of self-portraits, that they are of course a tool that one needs in order to look at oneself for the self-portrait. And then also across history they've had allegorical kind of associations as personifying the sin of vanity. And what's interesting with this picture is that it sort of hangs unused, it's small, it's sort of extraneous for this space of the dressmakers. What that does for me is to really sort of conjure this sense that this woman is young and youthful and has an amazing sort of composure and also confidence in her posture, in her gaze. And so it is, for me, a picture about a statement of youth. In 1986, Mortoshitsky had a solo exhibition at the Fitzwilliam Museum and David Scrace, who was then curator of paintings and drawings, was really instrumental in encouraging the artist to lend a work which then enters the women's art collection. So the work that we have in the women's art collection by Mortoshitsky is called Portrait of Elizabeth and it dates from 1990 which was made six years before the artist died and I think it's a perfect bookend to At the Dressmakers in some ways. It's a figurative piece, it's a portrait of Elizabeth Tollington who worked in the Foreign Office and it's also quite a different treatment to the figure um, in that the figure feels slightly more remote, there's a different treatment to the paint, there's a kind of ambiguity to it, so half of the picture is actually concealed by a sheer veil, which is interesting and actually Mortoshitsky used the veil quite a lot when she felt a bit unhappy with parts of a painting that she wanted to conceal, but also I think by including that she is also revealing something. We always want to know what's behind a curtain. So Mortoshitsky created lots of self-portraits throughout her career, continuing the long line of self-portraits by women that dates back to the 12th century, an enduring theme that we see in numerous moments across the women's art collection and through the work of contemporary artists working today. The women's art collection is Europe's largest collection of work by women, and I think what's lovely is to really try and map or understand some of the artists that are connected across different spaces in Cambridge. So we know that a number of artists that are part of our collection are similarly represented at the Fitzwilliam Museum collection, and I feel that there are some beautiful kind of stories that are still yet to be discovered about those artists and that correspondence and actually how there has been a very close affinity between the two spaces.